Nas, do you consider Nate one of your best friends or not really? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Every hotel, me, him, Jade, and Nate, we're just vibing, watching the other games and things like that. So definitely all three of them. But uh, tonight, what was like, what were you trying to accomplish tonight? Because obviously not a lot on the line for the team perspective and there's bigger things ahead. But what was your mindset heading into this one? Just trying to get in rhythm and getting, uh, uh, running an up and down shape and things like that for Tuesday's game. I mean, I, I, we got a, we have a big test ahead of us, um, and I think everybody's all in. And um, you know, without me, I think you know everybody won't be happy or excited if I if I don't play my role the right way. So I mean, every, we need everybody on this team. And I feel as though tonight was kind of a start for Tuesday, if not the last two games. What's your expectation heading into this first postseason taste here? I mean, it's my first pro season, so I'm excited. I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. I mean, I I, I, I live for moments like, you know, tomorrow. I'm on Tuesday, so, I mean, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. You played the you guys played the Clippers three times early in the year, and they all went their way. But how do you feel like your team is different now versus back then? Everybody's here to play for each other. Everybody's willing. Everybody's determined. Everybody has, you know, uh, that heart and everybody's here for each other. And I mean, I, I feel like that's, that's, that's something that we need, especially against a team that, you know, we lost to three times in a regular season. We, we're, we're here to get them back. And I feel as though we will. Finch was talking about how he expects the Clippers to have that same game plan they had against you guys where they put the small on Cat and they, they bring the double there. What's the key to breaking that? Um, everybody playing the role, cutting to the basket when Cat has the ball. I mean, he has a great ability to pass, so he can see everybody coming to the basket, he's facing out, you know, Malik, D'Lo, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, just getting getting to open spots and helping him help us. So it's both spacing and and like cutters. The it's not just sitting out no four problem. around him. You gotta have both. No, it's everything. We need we need all of that. You mentioned, you know, the three games again, three losses against the Clippers earlier in the season. As you guys have kind of drilled down to to prepare for that game what are some of the big takeaways uh from that game and you guys are obviously a different team than you were back then too so how are you maybe different from the, those three games that you played them i think the effort in the iq uh you know pat he talks about iq you know we're a young team so we have to have iq um i feel like that's big you know especially when the team's going in the game plan you know small a smaller guy on cat you know we got to be able to understand how to help him and help him help us, like I said before. And, um, you know, the effort, you know, every play, every play, every play matters. This is, this is a playoff game. So every possession has to matter and every intensity effort, every piece of intensity effort, IQ, any, any, we need all of that, everything. You mentioned, yeah, when, when they, they played kind of a smaller guy on, on cat and would bring the double, was that one of your, maybe the, one of some of the biggest learning experiences you guys had and how to counter that? Uh, that, that specific kind of defense was when they employed it on you guys? Definitely. I mean, that's something that I, in my three years of playing, I've, I haven't seen that. So when I when I first saw it, it was kind of confusing. But once you, you know, we, we've seen it over time and time and time again, and, you know, you kind of get understanding and, all right, how do you how do you fix this? And, you know, that's something that we did with cutting and spacing and all the other things that, you know, like I said, once again, that will help him help us gives you the most hope about this team's chances for a run in the playoffs everybody has heart everybody's determined everybody's has will everybody everybody's here for each other and we all want to win like we we're a whole different team from last year and even beginning of the season I'm, i feel as though everybody's all in what do you think pat has imparted on this team you think i'm sorry what are the biggest things pat has imparted on this team heart IQ, uh, you know, he he does a lot of things where um, a lot of other guys wouldn't do. And he gives everybody else the courage to, you know, step up and be themselves in situations that it might not be normal for somebody to be in. Um, and then IQ, you know, he's, he's always a play ahead. He always, he's always, he's always, he always knows where someone should be, even if it's not his position, he knows, he knows everybody's position, everybody's, um, you know, what they're supposed to be doing. And, it's just, it's a blessing to have him as your teammate. Do you feel like this team identity is kind of like warped around his identity? I would say so. I mean, he like, he brought a lot into to this team, like, especially with heart, like, and that's big. That's really big. 
having heart on a team and on, on an NBA team is, is really tough from one through 15 or whatever the case may be. And to install that. And then, you know, I feel as though everybody's heart is just only going to get bigger, especially in the moments of like playoff moments. We'll go last question to Christos on the Zoom. Hey, Naj, hope you're doing well. After 82 games in the regular season, what is the thing that, from your perspective, made this team so good, so effective on, on both ends of the floor? In 82 games, what do you think has made this team so effective on both ends of the floor? Uh, having each other's back. You know, if one guy gets beat, the low man has to be there. And, you know, the, the unfortunately, if the guy gets beat, he has to rely on the low man and know he's there, know he has his back. Just relying on each other to have our have each other's back and you know, um, just, just it's just it's all will like it's all will for me. I, that's what I think.